everybody. Hey, this is part five of my multi-part DIY greenhouse series. If you haven't seen the previous episodes, I'm going to put a link up here and then down there in the description down below. So that way you can catch up, look at the playlist, watch it, and uh, see how I built this thing in the first place. Uh, this episode is going to be heating and cooling of the greenhouse. Very important because if you uh, have the temperature get too high, you're going to kill your plants. If you have the temperature get too low, it will kill your plants. I did already put in my beeswax openers. That's in one of the previous videos. But I'm going to be showing you how we can get a little bit more cooling in here. Also get a little bit extra heat in here right now. Greenhouse is doing its job all by itself. It's being about 8 degrees above ambient temperature outside. So let's stay tuned and we'll get to it. All right, so in order to combat some of the excess heat in here in the greenhouse, I bought myself two of these 20 watt exhaust fan kits. So this has a little fan in it. Suction cups, zip ties, a couple little carabiners, but I probably won't use anything in this bag. But it has two solar fans, has a connector so that way they can connect together. Maybe. Oh, look at that. How am I going to get that to work? That's interesting. And a 20 watt solar panel. So it has a connector here, it has USB down here, two USBs. So the splitter oh, that's not going to work. Oh, I'm going to have to wire that myself. I don't have enough connectors. So I'll basically have to throw some extra wires on here. For the splitter. And don't that just beat all? Alright, let's see if the other package is the same way. And I don't see any mail mail, so I'll leave a link down in the description below for this thing. But as you can see, you have a one connection you can connect on to. But, these are both female, and these are both male, so that has to go there, but now I have a male-female, and three male connectors. Wow. Let's see what the other hat, uh, section has in it, see if I get the same thing on both. I'm going to have to give these guys a bad review. Exact same thing here. One power panel. Good thing I know a little bit about electricity. Two USBs, so if I had USB fans, it'd work just fine. So. Male, female, and male, male. So I have to cut this wire, cut this wire, and connect them together by hand. Wow. Alrighty. Alright, got that wired up. Now I actually have a splitter that'll work. 
So, should have had to do that in the first place. But I did check to make sure all the connections were right, made sure the solar panel was working. So everything else works, they just gave the wrong adapter. Go figure. All right, so the zip ties and the little carabiners that were uh, given with the kit actually came in handy. Zip tied to a couple staples. Just took my stapler, popped a couple staples in through the zip ties through. What this is gonna do, it's gonna allow me to take this down and clean it on the other side. As you can see, I got, already got a little bit of power going to it. Now I'm gonna hook up my uh, fans and set them up. And of course I got my little helper here. He's uh, sitting on my stool. So, had to move him really quick. Now what you doing? You're all over the place, aren't you? You checking out the solar panel? You're adorable. So I got this side mounted. Uh, was able to put one on each side. The key is to make sure that the beeswax opener is not uh, impeded at all. So that way it'll open and shut without any interference. It's plugged in, just waiting for the sun to hit it. Got the cat there. Over on the other side. I had to mount them on top of each other and put a zip tie here. Only need two mounts on each. Uh, don't really need much. They're not really that strong, but they are enough to pull the air out. There you go. And uh, once again, just waiting for the sun to hit it. Doesn't block off too much uh, light from the plants because I have my nice angle here. And I'll bring you back in once they start spinning. He's ready for it. All right, so they're spinning. It's just warm enough in here where this one's just cracked. The other one, nice and warm. Sun's uh, directly hitting the uh, uh, cylinder here, beeswax cylinder. And the fans are blowing out. Temperature inside is 76 degrees. It's about 70 outside right now. All right. All right, so it's 83 degrees inside the greenhouse. The outside temperature is only about 70. Come over, fans blowing. It's not blowing a lot, but it's enough to keep the heat down in here. Both of them are running just fine and dandy. As you can hear, they got a little hum to them. Solar panels getting full sun. And they're doing pretty good. So from the outside, I got this piece of paper. And as you can see, it's just blowing. It's doing what it's supposed to do. And it's just blowing out some of the extra hot air out of here. All right, it's still hot in here. Uh, even with the fans blowing, you might be able to hear the fans and the background noise. Uh, anyway, we got the cooling done. That's going to keep me from frying my fan, uh, frying my plants with the fans. Uh, I've killed a lot of plants uh, by forgetting to open up my vents. So this way, I have my beeswax openers down there, up here, and I get the fans blowing out. Otherwise, it'd be upward to you know 130 140 degrees in here right now uh, it's like 98 but it's still hot in here uh, even with the fans going but now that I got that done we're going to talk about heat in the greenhouse whole purpose behind the greenhouse is to extend your growing season make it go longer uh, Pacific Northwest we have a about a four-month window in there for the growing season 
uh, peppers, some tomatoes, they like a little bit longer growing season. In order to do that, we're going to be using thermal mass. But I want to tell you the other methods that you can heat up your greenhouse with. Uh, start with tossing a buddy heater in. These things work pretty good. Drawback, you got to keep changing out your uh, little propane canister here, canister here. So these are pretty good for those pinch when it just gets so cold, no sunshine, and your greenhouse isn't staying warm at all. Buddy heater comes out by all means. Uh, next, for a lower wattage version of a space heater, uh, this thing's uh, 350 watts. But this is a little 350 watt space heater. Actually, plugs right into your. Uh, if I can get it off, you can plug right into your wall outlet. I'd never use this thing on my wall outlet. I'd always keep it in the stand. Uh, plugs in. 350 watts ain't bad. That's like a really bright incandescent light bulb. If I can get that thick back in there. But these, you just set on the ground and let them plug away. Have a little. Uh, thermometer gauge on them so they're pretty cool they work uh, one of the things I've used in the past quite a bit especially in my other greenhouse garden shed is a 200 watt flat panel uh, you don't get the glow and the possibility of fire that you do off your regular space heaters uh, this whole thing warms up nice and smooth it's like a 200 watt light bulb um, this one's a cozy product but it still takes electricity. That means I'd have to wire this thing up to electricity in order to use it or use a long extension cord. But we're going to talk about thermal mass. And that's a way to heat up your greenhouse without quite getting the uh, heat that you would um, from a space heater. But um, it's going to still keep your temperatures sort of about 10 degrees above ambient outside temperature, if not more. So you could do thermal mass, and thermal mass is just something that holds heat, like this milk jug painted black. But water is a great uh, holder of heat energy, of thermal mass. Water is actually twice as good as concrete, uh, four times as good as your soil, and a whole bunch of uh, errors like 0 .001 for thermal mass. Um, the bigger you got, the more storage of your thermal mass battery that you got. So for me, I'm going to be using 55 gallon drums. So nice thing about the 55 gallon drums is, whew, these things are hot already, I don't even have any water in them yet. Um, the metal releases the heat out real good, absorbs the heat really good. They're painted black in order to absorb all that daytime sun. Uh, the way I have the angle in the greenhouse coming down, it's all the way down, uh, actually all the way to here on these drums. So these drums are going to get nice and hot during the day and then at night they're going to release the heat to bring the temperature of the greenhouse up and then they're going to level out and then slide their way down a little bit. Um, it's not a cure-all but it does stave off the frost, it increases the heat in your greenhouse, extends your growing season. So I'm going to go ahead and fill these things up. I did mark them. Uh, they're not food grade containers. They are clean, but they're not food grade. So I marked these as not food grade container on potable water. I could use the water to water plants, but I'm not going to be drinking out of these things. So, I'll splash myself. Woo. Start filling it up. Uh, 220 gallons worth of thermal mass. So I'm going to stop for a second and show you something. So humidity today is about 30% humidity. Uh, it's pretty rare for up here uh, not to have really low humidity but when the humidity is higher and you got the temperature a lot of times you're gonna sweat I don't know if you can see my handprint here so when these things sweat they will put a lot of water uh, down on the ground so what I did was I put something underneath 
just enough so the water won't accumulate and puddle or soak into the brick here and then it'll keep the bottom from rusting out as fast so a little bit of elevation not much just enough to keep the uh, uh, base from being uh, stuck on wet concrete uh, in order to keep it from rusting so I'm going to go back to filling this thing up some more Now that I have these all filled with water, got one more thing to add. A little $100 countertop. Boom. Nice little workbench here for me to do some potting on as a backboard so that way I don't Throw stuff down in the back and pretty sturdy. Might have to raise up a little bit on this side, just get it set. But I'm all set. All right, sun's starting to go down. Uh, my got, only got one of the two fans actually being able to turn right now with the amount of sun. I've uh, got the countertop in over the top of the 55 gallon drums. 55 gallon drums are still cold because I put well water in it, nice and cold well water. Uh, so it's going to take a few days for these things to absorb the heat, actually uh, catch up to the outside ambient air temperature during the day, and then follow the ambient temperature up inside here, actually not ambient, but the greenhouse temperature, go up to about 90 degrees with it. And then it's going to drop down cold outside and then this is going to give away some heat and bring the temperature up and it's going to even out and go down it's not a cure-all I'll tell you that a couple times this is not going to keep uh, the greenhouse warm if you have no Sun it's cold out uh, clouds all the time but it will keep your greenhouse at least 5 to 10 degrees above amp outside ambient temperature. So as long as we don't hit into the 20s or the teens, should be good. If it's sunny t uh, teens and uh, uh, 20s outside, these things are going to work just fine because it's going to heat up in here. And these things are going to keep it warm at night. If it's cloudy and then dips into it, then i got a problem. got to bring in a backup source of heat like that buddy heater. I'm going to go ahead and show you a few uh, clips of temperature differences since I installed these over the next few days and then I'll bring it back in. Alright, so as you can see it's 31 degrees outside. Temperature in the greenhouse right now is 40, almost 44 degrees. Uh, it got up to 85 in the greenhouse. The outside temperature got up to about 45 degrees today. So it actually got up pretty hot. Uh, inside the greenhouse heated up the water and uh, in the morning it's supposed to be down to about I think 28 27 degrees but there is no way that this greenhouse is going to be freezing uh, in the morning all right well it's five o'clock in the morning outside temperature this morning is 26.6 a little bit colder than I thought it was going to get uh, temperature inside the greenhouse is 37 degrees uh, the heat sink and thermal mass all that water is doing its job and kept the greenhouse above freezing didn't have to add any extra heat to the uh, greenhouse all right uh, so that was the difference in temperature between outside and inside uh, I hope you enjoyed the video if you did give it a big thumbs up push that subscribe button so you can keep up with what's going on thanks for watching happy garden have a great day